Well, it's time to begin another vlog. Yeah, it's for this is the vlog for Friday and into Saturday. It is uh, October 16th, Friday, October 16th. It is six hours and 48 minutes into the day. It's about two hours after we ended the vlog for uh, Thursday and Friday. And the way it works like that is that, is that we're running a 24-hour day. And this is how we end up doing the vlog. Uh, this is the point in time when I'm up uh, to do some gaming uh, and meditation. And uh, I, I end the vlog before the gaming meditation. And right now, in between, uh, I'm going to have something to eat right now. And I'll, uh, I decided to do open the vlog here, so it's that's how it works. It just uh, seems to be a, a how I'm doing the situation, how I'm doing the vlogging. I am keeping up on a daily basis. Uh, I'm trying not to fumble as much. Uh, if you notice where people cut their vlogs, they, you, you see the uh, a, a sort of a choppiness to it. That means. They're, they got stuck in their thought and they had to rethink things or rephrase things. Uh, and those are the choppiness. That's the choppiness. You, you, they cut out all of their mistakes, their flubs, and so on and so forth. But nothing's cut out here. Uh, in scientific journaling, uh, it is bad form to cut out mistakes. You want to see everything. You want Everything needs to be presented, the good, the bad, the ugly. And so when you edit the stuff out, you, you'd still get the sense of the person there, but uh, there is parts that are missing. Here there's a full thing. You're getting what you're seeing. There's no, there's no editing. I'm not editing things out. I'm not hiding things from you. Uh, and it is what it is. It, you, you, sometimes you get a travel vlog because we've got, out, we've got the scooter now. I could now travel. We go places to run errands and so on and so forth, just like I see in Family Five vlogs. Uh, I know also uh, on our family nest they do the same thing they go out on an errand they'll take you with you to the store or whatever uh, I can do that now and the thing is I use my GoPro I, I've got, I don't take you inside the store because a lot of people in my area uh, and when you go into the store they don't want to be on camera they're kind of camera shy a lot of these people because the, uh, my area is a heavily immigrant neighborhood they're an Asian neighborhood it's an Asian neighborhood They've had negative impact from their their own country before, and so they're afraid to be filmed. They don't know what they don't want to be filmed, just in case something happens. They want to sort of steer steer clear of any particular problem or potential problems. That's fine with me. So I I I vlog as I go along. You see me on my scooter. Well, actually, you see the road because I'm I'm behind the camera. I think it's I think it's. More interesting to see the road that I'm on and the different ce the scenery on the road than it is just to simply see me. So I don't film myself. I talk, but I don't film myself. I film the road as we go along. And you get to see the type of neighborhood that I'm in, and you get to see uh, where I end up going and the, the, the different places I travel to. And I think that, that adds an element of interest. It certainly changes it up from the research desk or the... Uh, the back research desk, which is now the media room as well. Um, I do. I haven't done as much in the kitchen. I should do more in the kitchen. I'm working on that, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, I have a laundry area that I can film in. Uh, that's just to the right of me. And then there's also, you know, uh, a, a parcels drop up or drop parcels pick up. Uh, that there's that area there as well where the where all the mail and everything comes in from. And look, there's also a back warehouse that I haven't filmed in either. It's, it's just simply not in a state yet uh, that it's ready to film in. But uh, it will get there and we will be filming in there. So uh, the backgrounds can be varied. I'm working on varying the background. It, but it just really depends on where I am at the time. And I don't want the vlog to be too long. Typically, I'm aiming between sometime, somewhere around the 15-minute mark to the half hour mark, to the 30 minute mark. It really depends on what's in the vlog. Uh, the scooting vlogs, where I'm on the scooter and doing run, running my errands are gonna be longer. And the ones without the scooting video, uh, video because uh, it's uh, sometimes it's raining out or 
as winter comes in, it might be snowing, there might be snow on the ground, and that's going to cut back on the amount of scooting that I can do. So, uh, they will be, tend to be more indoor vlogs than they are, out, are outdoor vlogs. But, you know, that's just the way things go. It, it depends on what I'm doing. Well, we're coming to the end of another day, another vlogging day. It is six hours and three minutes into the day of Saturday, October 17th, 2020. And we're ending the vlog for the 16th, for Friday. There are days you feel good, and the days you don't feel that good. And, ironically enough, when you take a bit of a vacation and you have a chance to sort of sit back and sort of mull things over in terms of where you are and where you've been, when you're on a road for infinite that has an infinite distance, there are days you realize you really haven't moved. And that could be a that, that could be something that's very daunting. Is it, to realize as much success as you've had, as much you've pushed forward, that the forward hasn't been sufficient to actually move you at all. Then this becomes a bit of an issue. But the thing is, then this is where you fall back on your routines, because routines are very comforting and very comfortable. Uh, because well, they're routine and really don't require that much, <laughs> and that's why in many cases they are routine. It's not to say that they're boring. It just you know, uh, routine can be very very comfortable. It could be very easy to do because well, you do it on a daily basis. Oh. And Clinton was me um, mentioning how a lot of people watch YouTube, and that there are people out there with a lot, aren't a lot of social skills because that, well, they're just there by themselves. And yeah, that's the way it is. I am by myself. I don't have many other people around me. This is, and the YouTube show is my basically my daily routine. I've got a sufficient YouTube stroll that allows me to, uh, from the base path, uh, to really stroll around and really get uh, a good feel for things in terms of what's going on there. Also, it's, a, it's, it's like everything else, including my gaming. It, it's, it's part of work. I mean, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm not up because I want to get up. I got up because I, I, my, my body naturally woke myself up. I was uh, having a particular dream. Uh, the dream is still with me in my head. Uh, and at the same time, thoughts leave my head. So, 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 so does the current track of mine. I'm up to game and to uh, do my meditation. The next series of meditations will start now. I finished one set earlier, and now I'm on to another. But again, it's repeating itself. There are two particular prayer groups that uh, I do. And one is shorter, one is longer. Uh, one is called Praklesi, and the other one is called Orthos and Liturgy. Uh, these two together form up the um, the standard that I'm doing. Now, I wasn't doing the standard before. I wasn't, I wasn't even anywhere near to doing what the standard was before. Uh, so this is something new. It is an achievement, but at the same time, as the achievement becomes routine, uh, you understand that there's actually a lot more there that you haven't covered. And <laughs> this is, you know, this is the nature of success, is that success doesn't necessarily present itself 
uh, as successful because well, as success is past that you've already succeeded, and when you look forward, you see nothing but more, and you see the things you've missed or the things that need to be done or, or uh, in other words, there there is a continuancy that 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 you didn't expect when uh, you were climbing a particular. Uh, a, a, a ladder or climbing up a particular mountain, you think, hey, I'm at the top. And only to be informed that you're not at the top and there's a lot longer to go. I guess this is probably one of the reasons why they tell uh, uh, climbers and people who walk, do work uh, at large heights never look down. Well, why? Once you realize where you are, that's when the fear kicks in and it can cripple you. This is kind of the same way in the scooter. There is a bit, there is a bit of uh, uh, the need to focus on the immediate rather than to focus on uh, the more philosophical. Because one of the most most immediate things is because a lot of times when you're talking and having a discussion, having a conversation, the mind has a tendency to wander and sort of uh, uh, sort of explore different areas of the mind, if you will, uh, to bring up better conversation. But at the same time, uh, you do have to maintain a sense of focus, uh, a sense of presence. And so the same thing with, with uh, when you're on the scooter, uh, and even when you're driving particularly. It's not as much when you're driving. It is there important when you're driving, but the thing is, when you're driving in a car or other vehicle, uh, you don't have to have the balance the way you do on a scooter. A scooter, you have to have a balance. And so far, I've only been able to get up to 25 kilometers an hour. Uh, beyond that, I don't know exactly, exactly yet. Because, again, the, pres my, the presence of mind has to be there to such a state that I can react to things uh, within an instant. Although, they may not be within my control, and then I have to figure out what I need, need to do after that. So, uh, But anyways, that's how things work. That's how they are, and this is what the main mundane does. This is what the YouTube show does. It's part of my mundane. It's 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 part of of the things I need to do on a daily basis to keep myself going. And everybody is a little different. The, uh, no one, the mundane and, and and the routine for everybody is a little uh, is different. Uh, a lot of people have a morning, they have a night routine. They have, depending on what the time is, they have their particular routines. But the thing is, you don't have the standard set of routines that everyone else has. It doesn't necessarily mean you don't have a routine. And in many cases, if you're not like everybody else, then, uh, you know, not necessarily, you know, and I find myself in a position where, well, I'm not a social person and where I have a lot of friends where I can go out a lot. I do observe a lot. I do, I do have a quality of observance. I can observe people. And develop a better understanding than uh, the average person would. So, one doesn't necessarily detract from the other. It's just a different set of eyes, a different set of experiences. Uh, this is what drives you forward. And again, watching uh, you know the, the Yowie vlogs. Very little in in it. They don't really. They don't really stop to say, "Am I worth it?" They're not. There isn't a sort of a uh, as they go through task after task. It's not. It's not a stopping saying, "Am I worth it?" They continuously move forward, regardless of the, regardless of how they're moving, how they're feeling. They deal with the issues in many cases that life has dealt them as they come along. They take them as they is, as they are, and. Uh, it's not. It's no longer a question of worth. It's a, whether, it's a question of whether, whether or not I'm going to per persevere through the incident or whatever is occurring and get to the other side. And that's the case here. It's, it's an issue of perseverance. You keep going, even though even though you really don't know where you're going to. So the refrain here is always, "Sorry, no refunds." <laughs>